So Hope and I were both born and raised in this area. So in today's video, you have a local's perspective on things to do in Mystic. We'll be featuring all sorts of fall activities from places to go apple picking, the oldest steam powered cider press in the country, an excellent place to watch the sunrise over some pretty awesome fall foliage, and more. We also did a summer video of Mystic, so if you missed that, we'll be sure to link it above. Now this is a Mystic video, but there's a lot of really fun fall activities in the surrounding towns right around Mystic. So to start our day, we are actually leaving Mystic, and we are headed to Sunnyside Diner in Gales Ferry, which is only about a 15 minute drive. And the reason we're doing that is because after that, we're gonna go apple picking at Holmberg's Orchard, which is just up the street. Mystic's incredible food scene has actually been making national headlines. It keeps getting better and better every single year. It's one of the big reasons why so many people come to Mystic. And of course, if you're in Mystic and want to stay in Mystic, some really great breakfast options are Rise, which is right in downtown Mystic. For a quick snack, you can go to Lee's Bake Shop, which is just over the bridge. And of course, you can head to the Old Mystic Village to go to Blue Squid for breakfast, also awesome, and they have adequate parking. Sunshine down, I feel sunshine down, I feel sunshine down, I feel sunshine down, I feel sunshine down. I am stuffed. That was absolutely delicious. So I got the garden omelet. It's three eggs. It's got some mushroom, spinach, peppers on there. Super cheesy, some crispy hash browns. We also got the special, the pancake special. Pineapple pecan pancake with some cinnamon on there. I like the pecans. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of having pineapple on pancakes. I don't know. Comment below if that's a combination you enjoy. I might go with chocolate chip next time. And I got the special Benedict. They have a bunch of different Benedict options. So if you're a Benedict lover, definitely the spot for you. So after that awesome meal, now we're going to head to Holmberg's Orchard, which is just five minutes up the street and go to apple picking. How it starts and how it ended. Now, since I'm tall, I'm usually called upon to get all the high branches, all the high apples, but we're here pretty early in the season and uh, there's plenty to pick from. So my talents are not needed here. Now, before you come, go on Holmberg's Orchard website and they'll tell you exactly what you can pick the weekend that you're coming and what's gonna be ripe. And then also check their hours. It's normally nine to five. They are closed on Monday, so keep that in mind. Sweet, crunchy. This is why you get the name Honey Crisp. Delicious. Mm. So, as you can tell, there's different species of apples. I have a Fiji right here, and my personal favorite, the Honey Crisp, a little bit bigger, sweeter. Um, there's home to over 40 species. You can choose from six today, so they all kind of bloom different times of the year. So, lots of options. Now, of course, the apple picking and the pear picking today is going to be super fun. If you're here a little earlier, they do have blueberry picking, and we just missed peach picking a couple weeks ago, but they have their truck with apple cider donuts. They have cider. They have the little shop that we'll check out next. So a lot of fun things to do. You could definitely spend a couple hours here. And fun fact, you can see the top of Mohegan Sun Casino from here. And if you have a pet, unfortunately, they are not dog friendly here. So we got a cider slushy because it is hot and humid today, but they also have a bunch of different varieties. And of course, apple cider donuts. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I can see there's, it's got some sugar crystals on the outside, it looks like. Good. Mm, really, really good. And it's soft. I want to say maybe I taste a little more cinnamon, maybe brown sugar in here. Definitely stop at Clyde's and Holmberg's, try the cider, try the apple cider donuts, and do a comparison for yourself. So we just drove down from the farm to the shop and they have an awesome selection of prepared food, pies, vegetables, more fruit if you need it, some drinks, so definitely something to stop and check out.
have our cider donuts and our cider slushies. So let's go try them out. So they have tons of seating. They have some benches, some Adirondack chairs. So they have a cornhole. So you can actually sit here and hang out for a little while. Be prepared. There are some bees around, especially because of how sweet the apples are and everything. But we brought Lola and it's a hot day. So we left her in the car with the AC. So we came back in here to enjoy our donuts. And of course, in the little store, we found some dog treats too, because can't forget about her. Dogs can walk around outside, but they cannot be in the actual shop. So that's why we left her in the car. Today we're going through a heat wave in the early September here, so definitely went with the cider slushy. They have wine, they have beer, they have this as a hard slushy. They also have this as a regular slushy, which this one is right here because it is before five o'clock. Um, so we're gonna try this thing out. Mm, it's good and refreshing. It's just like applesauce, just frozen, it's delicious. She wants to try some too. And now what everybody comes here for is the cider donuts. They are awesome. And if you get them and have them next day, pop them in a toaster oven or top, pop them in a toaster oven, <laughs> pop them in a toaster oven or in the oven for just a few seconds and the tops get nice and crunchy and they're really good the next day too. Definitely put Clyde Cider Melt on your list of things to do when you're visiting the stick. The second you pull in, you just smell these things coming straight out of the shop. You can't come here and not try one of these. So if you can tell, got these like sugar crystals on the outside. It's a nice soft donut and I'm excited to try this out. It's been too long, it's been a year. That's good, yeah, nice and soft. And like Hope said, get a couple of them. You can have the next day and pop them in the oven and you're good to go. So we are on the Stonington side of Mystic and we are at the Velvet Mill, which is an old mill that they've turned into a bunch of different shops. There's a few restaurants, there's Zest, which you can do for um, some quick breakfast, which is really awesome. So on Saturdays, they have a farmer's market. So this is a really great option, whether you need an indoor activity or you just want to hit a farmer's market on your trip, definitely come to the Stonington Velvet Mill far Farmer's Market Saturdays. It's 9 to 12. And if you saw our video in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, you'll know that Hope loves her farmer's market. So I am just going to stay out of the way on this one. <laughs> He'll hold the bag. at the farmer's market we got chicken produce bread there's so many things there's also on saturdays especially a lot of shops open so definitely take your time to come here and walk through all the shops now we're going to have a waffle from waffle pop Now that we've actually had some dessert at the Waffle Pop, time to head to one of my favorite places in Mystic for lunch. So typical New England, last Saturday it was 90 degrees, it was hot, we were sweating, and now we're in sweatshirts, it's cool, there's a very crisp fall breeze in the air, so just be prepared when you're coming in September and October to pack accordingly. One more stop before we head to actual lunch, of course another snack break, we stopped at the Mystic River Park, got some candied pecans, nice fall snack, got a beer, a cider beer, um, athletic brew over at Spencer and Lynn's. Now it's about 1230. We're going to watch the bridge go up because that happens every 40 minutes after the hour. And it wouldn't be a Mystic video without spending some time in downtown Mystic. So here we are right now in downtown Mystic. We're going to spend some time poking around some shops down here. But if you want more in-depth details on downtown Mystic, be sure to check out our first video on Mystic, including when we took the boat underneath the Mystic Drawbridge, came within an inch of hitting the bridge. I still have no idea how Captain Will got us underneath the bridge without hitting it. So walking through downtown Mystic, of course you have restaurants, you have little gift shops to pop in and out of, the Spice and Tea Exchange, a couple different ice cream shops, some great coffee spots as well. So plan to spend a bit of time and walk through downtown Mystic and poke in some of the shops. Now these candied pecans are delicious. They're coming out nice, fresh, warm, crunchy. They have candied almonds and candied cashews as well. I've never gotten anything else besides candied pecans because they're just so good. So comment below if you prefer a candied pecan, candied almond, or a candied cashew. So the bridge goes up every 40 minutes after the hour. However, if there's no boats, especially in the fall, it won't go up. So we did sit here for about 10 minutes and 1240 has come and gone. So it doesn't look like the bridge is going to go up right now, but luckily Tyler came the other day and took some awesome drone shots. We'll show you that and then we will see you at the next stop.
Rotten, the town that Mystic is located in, is the submarine capital of the world. And right behind us is the world's first nuclear powered submarine, the Nautilus, which we're about to walk on right now. Definitely come check out the Nautilus. Not only are you getting to tour the submarine, it's a huge interactive museum as well. And it has free admission. Of course, we left a donation, but it is something when you're out for the weekend and you've got a lot of expenses with all the activities you're trying to do, it's nice to have a free activity that you can actually spend a few hours at. Began construction and was built in 1947 48 and then in 1954 the nautilus made its voyage out to sea incredible being able to walk aboard the nautilus it's incredible now especially being six foot four and walking and observing the living situations it's really neat and it makes you not want to complain about living in a van when you're touring and looking at these sleeping conditions and where else can you tour the world's first submarine i know it's not technically in mystic but we had to add it to this just because of the history and if you're into history there's also the fort griswold park which is right up the street pretty big battle in the revolutionary war happened at that fort three other things that we're not going to have in this video but is worth checking out that we did in our last video that are probably the most popular things to do in mystic is the mystic seaport the mystic aquarium and then also tree trails tree trails is a an adventurous ropes course a zip line thing you can do in mystic this year in 2023 the nautilus is going to be doing a little bit of construction so if you're coming this fall definitely check out those operation hours we are off to officially head to lunch it's actually almost dinner time we will meet you back at lunch And little known fact, the fuel in Mystic is oftentimes much more expensive than the fuel in the surrounding towns. In this case, 24 cents more expensive. So don't buy fuel in Mystic. And that is money, so that is value. So hit that subscribe button. farm stand which is just down the street from downtown mystic right now they have their pumpkin patch behind me they also have their farm stands so you can get a lot of apples they have some animals too that you can feed so definitely make this a stop on your list today at garlic fest in the old mystic village we found garlic ice cream bacon so this is bacon that's been candied with garlic and vanilla extract let's try it out Tastes like garlicky bacon. This does look pretty good. It's nice and sticky. You can see it up close there. And yeah, garlic ice cream bacon. Can't say I've tried it. Sticky sweet. It's good. Garlicky. So a little bit of salty on it. It's sweet. Yeah, this, this is good stuff right here. Garlic ice cream bacon from IWantPigCandy.com. And definitely check out the calendar for Old Mystic Village. They always have events. The third weekend in September every year is Garlic Fest. They have a lot of outside vendors that come in and everything is garlic themed. So that's a really fun one. But there's a lot of fun events in the fall to come see. When there's a festival in the village, it's very crowded like it is today. So you're gonna have to wait a while. So we put our name in, walked around while we were waiting for our name to come up. And any minute now, we'll be headed to Jealous Monk. The Jealous Monk is one of many delicious restaurants in the Mystic area. We love the wings the brats, the German style food at Jealous Monk. They also have 32 beers on tap. They'll have Oktoberfest in the summertime. They'll often have cornhole and a great outdoor atmosphere as well. And it's located in Mystic Village where there's tons of shops. It's close to the aquarium and there's also a movie theater right next door. So at Jealous Monk, they have Oktoberfest right now. So we ordered from the Oktoberfest menu, which they don't always have. So we took advantage of it, which was super fun and cool and different than what we normally get when we go there because we go there quite frequently. However, per usual, the wings were awesome. They do have a fantastic giant pretzel and you can turn it into a pretzel charcuterie as well. We didn't get that today because it's a lot for just two people. But if you love soft pretzels, definitely get that when you're here. Wings, super tasty, super garlicky. We, our breath is definitely gonna reek after going to Garlic Fest and having garlic wings, but worth it. A little bit of room for dessert. We're gonna get a tasty treat right now. And then after that, we're gonna go to a haunted ghost tour of downtown Minton.
So we just finished up the ghost tour, which was fantastic. Definitely a really fun fall spooky thing to do through downtown Mystic. It is a walking tour. It's about two hours, so wear comfortable shoes. Yeah, our short guide AJ did an awesome job. Definitely got a few goosebumps, some spooky stories. Check it out for yourselves. Pretty exciting stuff. Finished our day at Mystic River Ice Cream. We got some ice cream right here. I got a banana ice cream with walnuts. I've always been a chocolate guy, but I actually have been on a banana ice cream kick lately. I have salted caramel. We also really love the Mystic Drawbridge ice cream, but we decided to change it up tonight. If you're a banana ice cream lover there, he always gets the groovy gorilla. And caramel lovers. Or the Mystic Mud. That's but a good choice too. But the Mystic Mud is a fan favorite there. So that concludes our fall version of going to Mystic. Thank you guys for watching. If there's anything else we forgot, Before we wrap the video up, I just wanted to add this one spot. This is Lantern Hill Trail in Overlook. It's actually in North Stonington. The reason I wanted to add it is because I think it's one of the best spots for a sunrise, but not only a sunrise, a great spot for some fall foliage. It's a short hike from the parking lot. There's a few strenuous parts, but there are a couple loop varieties you can do too with a few other overlooks. Right now I'm here mid to late September. The leaves are still green, but I want to get this video done so you can plan to take your trip to Mystic. And in a couple weeks, it will start turning. I also wanted to add a couple of places we went to might've appeared to be empty and not very crowded however we came early during the week on most parts and a lot of these places will get crowded pretty quickly and parking can be limited so just plan ahead for that as you can tell this trail right here is dog friendly as well as a lot of places in downtown mystic a lot of the shops actually have dog bowls outside even the farmer's market we went to inside that velvet mill they did allow dogs i definitely want to recommend this home colorful dog water bottle and food bowl that was sent to us a little while ago it's a great thing to pack if you're taking a dog on a hike it's a water bottle that you can clip to a backpack with a care beaner that locks and it's got two compartments on the bottom you can fill it off with 32 ounces of water on the top and then the bottom has two bowls so you can pack food we love taking with us on hikes it's a great way to give the dogs a snack and a drink while you're on a hike with your dog so check that out we'll put a link in the description below and lastly i know i'm kind of dumping a lot of information in the last couple minutes of this video but if you are coming in a camper or an rv the Sun Outdoor Campground in Mystic is a great place to stay. Hope and I spent a few summers there just hunkering down, had a blast. There's fire pits, mini golf, pickleball. They have bands, food trucks that come on the weekend. So they do close mid-October. Coming in an RV before that, it's a great spot. Thanks for tuning into this video. I hope this helped you plan and prepare for your trip to Mystic and enjoy our town.